Okay, so at last we are now. You keep seeing these pills everywhere, glowing blue. What happens if you collect them all? Hint, hint. So, oh, whoa, is that like tied to an ending or something? Is surprisingly sturdy. Don't be afraid to use it. Okay, are you gonna keep talking? So we're gonna we we already finished everything that was covered in the demo. Now we're gonna go into new territory, which I'm excited for. Because from what I can see, the game has four patients, four areas that we need to explore. And maybe we're gonna have like a fifth area. I'm assuming that it may be like us. Because at the moment, I'm theorizing that maybe that voice that we're listening to, it's like a darker side of us. Like we are exploring on maybe our guilt or something like that. Hopefully it doesn't go that way, I'm gonna be honest, because that's a little bit um cliche and I think that's a little bit um tired at this point. So I'm hoping that maybe that other character, the one with the trench coat, I think that it is. I'm hoping that he's an actual character and that there's something actually happening. So let's see. I'll be here. Yeah yeah. Be a good kitty, stay there. Okay, I can't close the door. So, now I have this. We can explore. Okay. I kind of I kind of keep forgetting what what each button does, so Okay, so we can actually break that now. Oh, we can actually shoot it. Oh well, that would be kind of kind of like a waste because if we if we get enemies, we can maybe use that later on. I can just jump, hopefully. Okay, what do we have here? Nice. Okay, so this building area is pretty big. Maybe this building area is what I was telling you guys about. Maybe this is like the fifth area. This is like the hub world. But maybe it counts as a fifth area in the sense that after we complete everything, there's gonna be like an uh, addi additional section dedicated to exploring the main character, maybe? Okay. Let's go this way. Hey, a lot of goo. Oh, we can't open it from this side? Seriously? So what happens if I touch it? Ooh. Nah, I'm not sure if I can... Uh, I'm not sure I can survive that, so... Oh, here we go. This should help with the gas. Good. Anything else here? Okay, but it doesn't let me breathe. Okay. And when you say that it helps with the gas, do you mean all of that stuff? Let's put it to the test. Oh, because this is gas. Okay. Ventilations. Wait, did I just go around in a circle? Yes, I did. Seriously? Yeah, went around in a circle. It's okay. Okay, what else do we have here? 
Oh, that looks burnt. I don't want to move forward. Okay. Okay, so cool. You're gonna keep getting items to explore new areas. That is so good. I love that. I hate that hole. Let's go to the second floor. No way, we were we were in the second floor. It's the first floor that I want to explore. Oh, yeah, this is the area where the frame rate takes a dip. Nasty little dip. I'm trying to remember what I explored and what I didn't. And in what order I should approach this. Let's go this way. Okay. Okay, we're full on bullets. Oh, we need to explore explode that. Okay, apartment number two. Popping boomer. But what was that? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, that was kind of random. Okay, so there are now there are monsters in the area. Oh, that was really random. My God. Okay, let me explore this. Oh, that was random. I didn't hear him. So he, he, it was like, what? You startled me. What's wrong with you, dude? Alan's home. Oh, I'm guessing this is the next one. Got some batteries. Can I explore explode that? Nope. Something stops me from getting closer. Okay. Dark whales told me to write so 
Doc Wales told me to ride, so I'm riding. Even though I don't want to ride, what I want to do is scream at people. A woman by the lighthouse today told her meat head boyfriend I was looking at her funny, and he punched me in the gut. I wish I could bury both of them in the ground. I'm so mad I'm seeing red. Okay. So this is a, pro a person with anger management issues. Because that's something really typical when when people have trouble managing their their anger and sometimes even their impulsivity They will describe it as seeing red Like I, they couldn't control it. I could took control of them Those type of, of expressions Okay, so all we could do was pick it up So the first one was anxiety, this one is gonna be anger. Okay, I already went that way. It's blocked from the other side. Okay, we can explode that, but I don't really see the it's point at the moment. The Anyways, let's explode it just in case. Maybe there's something there. Yes, more pills. We need another item to progress through there. Bullets. Food. And batteries. Weird, it shines. We're watching you, Doctor. Are you doing your job? Are you helping? Well, I'm doing my best. Okay, let me go in here. Oh, okay, okay. So we open the door from the other side. It's blocked from the other side. Okay, so if it's blocked from the other side... Is there like a vent? Weird. Cause I, I don't see any other way to go in. Yes, I'm aware of the lights flickering in this section of the floor. I will be it will be fixed when I can get a hold of our electrician Gary. Until then, please don't try and light the hallway yourself. No candles, no fires, no flare guns. Be patient. Superintendent. Okay, this apartment number one. So we have zero one two, and on the zero we have like a door that we ha we can't go through. On number two we have the smoke. And here we we can break this. Yeah. Why is there a mirror here? Okay. Virginia's key. I found it in her apartment. Wow, that's cool. Nice. Oh, it's locked. Uh, 
Okay, so this is a conversation that we had with her, a, a therapy session. Desmond, th that's that's us. We spoke of running a road chart test. Have you done one before? Virginia, no, but, but I've seen it in movies. You show me a picture and I say what it makes me feel. Desmond, I show you an ink blot and you tell me what it might look like. Shall we do a few? Virginia, sure. First image. Virginia, a flower, but it's broken. Virginia, a crowded auditorium, two people fighting. Desmond says, what might this be? Virginia, a monster with six arms, like snakes. I'm sorry, I, I, I just sound incredibly stupid. Desmond, not at all. There are no wrong answers, Virginia. How does this last ink blot make you feel? Powerful. Okay. I'm sure that there's some symbolism there, right? What she's seeing in the blot and the ink blots. Because it's a flower, but it's broken. Maybe that could allude to her. A crowded auditorium, which I think has to do with her anxieties. Two people fighting. Not sure what that what, what that could allude to. And a monster with six arms like snakes. And it makes her feel powerful. Interesting. Okay. Either way, I can't open all of the doors, so... At least now we have a record. I'm assuming that we can play it back in our apartment. Second floor it is. We already have the tape for the new area. Yeah, and that's the reason why I keep tell keep saying that maybe that's just us. Like our subconscious, our guilt, our like a darker side of us, like our negative voice. Because how would anybody know that that was our impression of him? You know? And before we do this... What do we have over here? Okay, so it's only three stories high. Can I break it? Nope. Okay, so we need to unlock those doors because they're all electronically locked. Oh, this is awesome. Is there a link between Virginia and Alan? I wouldn't rule it out. I guess I'm about to find out. Be careful, Desmond. It's my record player. Remember when you're young. 
Okay, so those are just the musics? The music for the for the game? Okay, I'm gonna stop that because I don't know. I was listening to that. A doll's house, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna stop that because I don't know if I uh, would if the video would get flagged because of that. Hey, so let's see what what this is all about. Here we go again. Head on the swivel, Desmond. Let's see. It's cool that we have like a different setting now. How exactly do you feel weird? Yeah. Off, odd, slightly tilted. I, I've had these nightmares ever since I can remember. I've always had these horrific dreams I can't explain. And they recur. Man, like there are themes in them that keep coming back. And uh, honestly, Doc, it's been such a constant that I shape my life around them. No, I don't know. And you need to explain yourself. Okay, so this is this is gonna be an interesting one. So that was the last tape. Okay. Oh, well, let's jump into his psyche.
Man, I gotta keep saying it. The music in this game is rocking. It's really good. Look at you, Mr. Private Detective. What do you think is behind all of this? Bigfoot aliens, big bad government officials? Shed some light on this situation, why don't ya? Okay. HP, bullets. Very good. Trying to look around to see if I see anything. Oh God. The line I have to restore it. What? What's that? Okay, so it's the lighthouse. There's a path up there. Can't get in there. Okay, yeah, and that takes away my HP. Okay. Let's go up there. We need to restore the light. It carries woods. Both the light and the dark will hurt you. Perhaps like him, you should get a job at the lighthouse, alone and afraid. Well, the only thing hurting me is the light right now. Or at least the light that's shining from the lighthouse, specifically. In Greek mythology, Icarus flies too close to the sun and it kills him. I'll spare you the analogy. In our story, you're going to bring the sun to Alan. And the both of you will burn. You do okay. So that's the map. I mean, either way, I need to explore, so...
I'll be honest. I, I, I don't like the fact that we have stamina. Like, I feel it really doesn't do anything for the gameplay except, like, slow me down, period. Because maybe the their thought process was that maybe you would run away from some enemies and the stamina adds, like, this certain level of tension and resource management. But I don't feel like it does. It's just annoying. Perhaps when the sun lays its head upon a pillow of water and clouds respond in orange and in pink, you shall see the revelation as John did at Patmos Anonymous. Okay, so they're talking about the Bible. Virgil County Blackouts is the truth stranger than fiction? Column by George Avalos. What else could it be but a high powered EMP, says Lenny Crumb, as he puts the final touches on a sign that reads Planet Home, one of several homemade signs made by locals today at the Extraterrestrials of Milton by annual gathering. Theories and conspiracies can be heard at every turn as residents try to make sense of the recent sudden blackouts around the county. Look, it probably malfunctioned when the aliens approached Earth, or they they did it on purpose, says Lenny. This is far from the only speculation we've heard over the last few days, and it's important to note that it doesn't seem to be receiving much, if any, attention from other news sources. While this, investiga inve while this investigative journalist doesn't wish to raise any red flags, I can't help but wonder why that is. Have we finally stumbled onto a real conspiracy? One that is being closely monitored by government suits and protected by a gag order? Or are we reading too much into the mundane? This and more on the next edition of Milton Mysteries, February 6, 1997. So there was, there was some really weird stuff happening all around Milton. On the town. Sorry, no light at the end of this tunnel. Maybe at the top of the tower? Bottom of the pit? I know that there's no light over here. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to explore. And get the pills, baby. Get them pills. Okay, let's go back. I mean, how deep can you explore the forest? Oh god, and the frame rate is taking another dip. Is there anything over here? I'm just trying to check everything because I don't want to miss any of the items. Okay, are there any monsters? Yes, there are. So I don't want to blow that up until... I want to wait until they come over here. Seriously? There we go. 
Hey, I took a hit there. Oh wait, I, ca I cannot. I, I need to take off the mask. Okay. Mayor Pharmaceuticals Incident Report Form. Full name: Max Nigard. Home address: 210 Main Street, Apartment 1, Milton Haven. Date of incident: uh, It's March 8, 1997. Time: 2 a.m. Location of incident: On the road next to the Icarus Lighthouse. Description of incident: I thought it was a blown tire at first, but the asphalt the asphalt in the road is melting or something. Truck stopped short of a few hundred feet. Okay. Apparently, apparently there was like an accident here, I guess. What is that? As he climbed higher and higher in the sky, do you think Icarus contemplated how weird a person he was? Why can't he just be normal? Do you think his parents pushed him to be a lawyer? To be a doctor? Like your parents did? Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.